But another big story coming out after the close last night out of the private equity space. Apollo Global Management announcing uh, that Leon Black will step down as its CEO. This coming after um, an investigation into uh, Black's dealings with Jeffrey Epstein. Um, and Andy Server joins us now for more on this story. And, and Andy, a story that um, and we we're discussing this in our meeting this morning, a story that to me feels a little incomplete given what happened right now. I don't know if there's another shoe to drop. I mean, there was a very long investigation into this and, you know, Black had given more money to Epstein than thought, but um, it, it does feel like like the midpoint at best of, of, of this saga. Yeah, I think that's right, Miles. And, you know, to be clear, Leon Black is a Wall Street titan and, you know, sort of by himself with his two partners, but he is the face of the firm, built Apollo into a private equity juggernaut. And he's worth, by some estimates, eight to $10 billion personally, and just has a tremendous amount of clout when it comes to the restructuring business. But he's had this longstanding relationship with Jeffrey Epstein, and it slowly came back to bite him. I mean, he was always constantly saying, I'm not that close to him, not that close to him. And this investigation by an outside law firm suggests that Black and Apollo paid him in excess of $158 million. Now, it's said that that's because Epstein did consulting work that helped Apollo save much more money um, in terms of taxes, but it, it stinks to high heaven. And, you know, it's like calling up Count Dracula and asking him to do work, you know, on your, you know, consulting with the with a part of your business. I mean, it just doesn't doesn't fly. And but he's sort of stepping down, but staying on for a little bit as well, to your point, Miles. Yeah, it's sort of interesting because there's this whole behind the scenes jockeying as well, it seems, Andy, where he had two lieutenants. He wanted one of them to be CEO and not the other. So he struck a deal with the, his favorite son, so to speak. And he's remaining as chairman. Um, and it seems like a lot of the money that he paid to Epstein, according to this investigation, was about tax sheltering and tax strategies. And, uh, you know, in reading up about it, it sounds like that some of the stuff Epstein came up with wasn't workable and he was difficult to work with on the part of black staff. Uh, but I guess some of the stuff supposedly saved black a, a bunch of money. Yeah. And, you know, the report did say that Epstein took more credit for uh, the work than he uh, probably actually accomplished. And yeah, Josh Harris, one of those lieutenants uh, tried, it seems tried to force black out um, wholesale at this point, but didn't succeed. And it doesn't look like there's enough outside governance. In fact, uh, Black has agreed to have more outside directors and has appointed some. So, you know, this, this is what happens when you have one of these companies that's private and then sort of, you know, becomes more and more of a, a, of a public firm with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of employees like this as well. And, you know, it strikes me also interesting that Leon Black founded Apollo out of the ashes of one of Wall Street's greatest scandals decades ago, which is to say the collapse of Drexel Burnham Lambert. That's where he started his career and is now at least somewhat ending his career uh, in the teeth of another great Wall Street scandal, which is Jeffrey Epstein, sort of an ignominious beginning and an ignominious end, I guess you could say. Well, yeah, what's you know, the fate of Apollo? Poetry on that. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, sorry, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Julie. I was just wondering what the conclusion is for Apollo itself, right? I mean, Black has been synonymous with his firm. And even though he's remaining as chairman, is there a view on Wall Street that, you know, maybe it's going to be waning in influence now? Well, you know, that remains to be seen, of course, Julie, but uh, there are a number of investors, uh, high profile investors, including CalPERS and other um, giant pension funds who were standing by waiting for the results of this report um, as to whether or not they were going to, A, give any more money to Apollo ever, or B, even in terms of withdrawing money from Apollo. And so we haven't heard yet, we haven't gotten comment from any of those firms uh, in the wake of the release of this report. Um, so that remains to be seen. No doubt this is a, a stain on the company, though, and they're going to have to build up the reputation. But, 
you know, I can just see Miles shaking his head right now. I don't see him, but I, I can just see it. Go ahead, shake your head, Miles. That you know what, what drives these people. If they see good returns, there he is. If they see good returns, they'll jump right back onto the Apollo bandwagon, I'm sure. And to be fair, I mean, this is a relationship between Black mostly and and Epstein, as untoward as it may have been. Um, and of course, Jeffrey Epstein is no longer no longer around. Um, you know, it just just one last thing. I mean, there were some always some questions about like why, how much? How come he gets all this money? And to be clear, um, this report found no wrongdoing um, when it comes to Leon Black and the activities and those horrible activities of Epstein. But you know, there's always that question circling around in people's minds as well. To be quite frank, yeah. Um, and and you know, talk about you know, returns. People people will go to the returns that they come. I, I mean. Powell's underperformed the S&P 500 since it, since it came public back at the beginning of uh, the last decade. And so, um, you know, there's an interesting story there as well, the performance of, of these private equity stocks relative to the market. You know, Blackstone's done a little better, but again, Apollo Blackstone not exactly covering themselves in glory. And, and yeah, just a quick point there, Miles. That's because by the time the money gets to that point in the food chain, uh, all the all the juice has been taken out of it, which is to say, um, you know, you hope paying the limited partners, but certainly paying the employees, to be yeah. clear. 